In a David Goldstein investigation video, you'll only see on CBS 2. Two off duty LA City firefighters almost choking a man to death. CBS 2 investigative reporter David Goldstein is here now with that video. Yeah, the video has never been out in public yet. Now, the DA's office threw the book at these two off duty LA City firefighters when this incident happened on Halloween night in 2015. But tonight, some question why the charges were plea bargained down to minor offenses when the whole incident with a 23 year old college student was caught on tape. You picked the wrong place to come. With buddy. Yeah. Sammy Chang started videotaping on his phone after he says off duty LA City firefighter Eric Carpenter, who's dressed in a He Man outfit, and other party goers began harassing him. You're drunk, aren't you? It happened on Halloween 2015 after he was handing out candy in a Chatsworth neighborhood near where his grandmother lives. I was just giving away some free candy, and you. We don't eat free candy. Yeah. I pay for my candy. I don't eat free candy. And why are you following here? me? I'm not following you. I'm walking down the street. They continued to follow, and others joined in. Tell me your address. No, nothing. Tell me the address. All the cops! He ran a few houses away when one of the party goers accused Chang of handing out drug laced candy. Can if I you have want one of the free candies that you're offering? No. Give me some drug laced candy. So you think I have drugs? Yeah, yeah. He was chased down by the group as his phone fell to the ground, and you can hear someone warning Eric Carpenter. Eric, Eric, not a good idea. Not a good idea. The next video was shot by a neighbor showing Chang on the ground, Carpenter holding him in a headlock. Another off duty firefighter, Michael Vitar, also holding him down. Vitar was a child actor who starred as Benny the Jet Rodriguez in the Sandlot movie. What drugs did you take? Why are you here? Why are you here? Stop fighting us. Stop fighting. I want to go home. Yeah, so do I. It goes on for more than six minutes while they call police. Hey, what's your name? Until they realize Chang has passed out. Wake up. Then the firefighters who nearly choked him to death had to revive him. There you go. Let's go. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. This is how Chang looked days later in the hospital. The police report says he sustained head trauma, bleeding on the brain, renal failure, and a hemorrhage caused by suffocation. Why did you offer our kids drug laced candy? The LAPD determined the candy was not laced with any drugs. They reviewed these videotapes, and the DA's office charged the two firefighters and another neighbor with felony assault. The DA even put out a press release saying Carpenter faces up to seven years in prison. Mr. Carpenter would love to speak. But when the case got to court, in a move that even surprised police, Carpenter and the others were allowed to plead no contest to a misdemeanor. He got three years probation, 135 days of community service. What do you think of what the DA's office did? My heart stopped and, and blood stopped flowing to my brain. and. Yet this wasn't considered a felony. I'm shocked. The DA's office refused an on camera interview, but in a statement told us, quote, while some advocated for harsher sentences, the DA's office did not believe a jury would find the defendants guilty of felony conduct given the facts of the case. I'm shocked. Chang's attorney, David Ring, believes it was a political decision. I heard through sources that uh, someone put pressure all the way to the top of the DA's office. And because these men were firefighters and because they were connected to somebody high in the DA's office, that the DA went easy on them. Stop fighting. And what happened to the firefighters? Both were put on leave and ended up with a six month suspension without pay. If he had been convicted of a felony, perhaps a different outcome at the Board of Rights? Perhaps, yes. LA Fire Chief Ralph Terrazas admits a felony charge could have ended Carpenter's career, but a misdemeanor got him six months. Are you happy with the six months suspension? I'm never happy that our, our members are involved in any off duty or on duty um, misconduct. We found Carpenter is already back at work after serving that suspension. This is him just last week, not in his He Man outfit, but an LA City firefighter uniform. Hey, Mr. Carpenter, David Goldstein with CBS 2 News. We caught up with him when he was off duty. He didn't have much to say. You regret anything you, that happened that night? The entire incident was regrettable. Certainly things have been handled differently, but uh, we're, we're all trying to move forward now. And I appreciate your time and your interest in it. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. 
Well, the issue is not over. Later this week, Chang's attorney is filing a civil lawsuit against those two firefighters and also three others who were allegedly involved in the incident. That's back to you. And you'll be reporting back to us. Mm -hmm. yep. Thanks.